Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Dockery. In my life, I have worn many hats and tasted many flavors. As I travel the world, I explore the finest cities in search for culture, history, and great food. Along the way, I get to meet today's most interesting celebrities, focusing on the positive side of life, allowing them to share their causes, charities, and what truly fascinates them. We cook and dine with some of the finest chefs of our time, preparing healthy and delicious meals in some of the hottest restaurants. Also, we showcase the latest, most creative, and hippest trends of beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I pursue my passion for health and fitness and acquire some of the most innovative wellness strategies. And now I want to share this all with you. So come along on this amazing journey and together we will experience a world of health, beauty, and life. On today's show, we introduce you to supermodel and friend of Health Beauty Life, Kelly Ember. Join us as we meet the fun-spirited mom in her beautiful home in San Diego, California, where she talks about her past, being a mom, and growing her own food. Then we invited the model gardener, Kelly, into Health Beauty Life Kitchen, where she delighted our palates with fresh veggies from her garden in what she calls the breakfast salad. Next, we're back with Dr. Richard Shafu, who shared with us and performed on me the latest and most advanced hair replacement procedure known as Neograft. But first, let's head to the home of the model gardener, Kelly Emberg. Kelly Emberg has been gracing the covers and pages of magazines since a young age and has enjoyed a career unbatched by most. No longer a globe-trotting supermodel, her life today is slightly less glamorous, but no less enjoyable. Married with a grown daughter and two young sons, Kelly is also a serious gardener who champions healthy foods and is fast becoming a radio and internet star. We met Kelly in her home and garden where she shared with us her love for gardening, healthy eating, and the joy she receives from sharing her knowledge with others. So, yeah, you know, exactly. being a model and, you know, you're, you, I know you were at one time married to Rod Stewart. Everybody knows me. Well, is, we right? weren't actually married. Oh, you weren't actually no. married. T together seven years and, and I had children. my little Ruby, yeah, Ruby okay. Stewart. And then yeah. you have some other children as well. I have two boys, Tyler, 15, and Cole, 12. Now, do you feed so them things lucky. out of the garden? Absolutely. I wish they would work more in the garden with me. <laughs> right. So tell me the premise yeah. of this. Is this all organic that you're doing? All here? organic. If you're going to grow, you might as well do that, right? I mean, right. you can go to the Which grocery store. Right. If you, you just have to keep up on it, and it, it, if you get everything right, you know, you have the right sun and the right soil and the right plant in the right place. You don't have the the bugs and the disease, so you can avoid some of that just by following a few simple directions. You started doing this quite a long time ago. Well, you know, I, I grew a little bit years and years ago okay. when I first started modeling. So I started with herbs. Okay. And then I and then I was just so busy. Well, were you modeling. into cooking at the time? Because I mean, herbs cooking generally goes You know, I learned how to make some jam, which Rod thought was amazing. When I first met him, he's like, you make your own jam? You know? Wow. So I was like, that's all I make. They always say, uh, <laughs> what is it? A, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach? Yeah. He thought, you know, I don't know, making your own jam sounded really cool. Yeah. Nobody, like, and once I started growing, that was it. I was hooked. Yeah. And I and then I thought I need to teach the world to grow. Yeah. Because even if it's on the simplest level, like it's a tomato plant, people don't understand, first of all, we go to the grocery store and we just pulled you know, whatever you want from the produce department, right? It's just too easy. People don't think about what did that plant look like? How hard was it to grow that? How hard is it to grow organically in a big way? You know what I mean? Um, What's the nutrients in the vegetables? And they vary. And what happens, and they do. They vary extensively. The yeah. way we're growing. In my show, I try to, to find things where if you do want to, yeah, alternatives. Um, because if you don't have the fine, if you can't grow year round, right. um, and if you can't afford to buy everything organically, then there's certain things that you should buy organically that yeah. are going to get all the pesticides or and, and, and you're going to ingest them, like lettuces and celery. Have, have strawberries the, are a big one. Uh, strawberries, yeah, and um, apples. Yes. So, but then there's other things like oranges, you can feel the skin. Right. So there's, a little safer. Yeah. So when's the show on? Is it on at any time? How does it's that work? It's an evergreen format. It's okay. an app that you download onto your phone, your computer, your iPad, iHeartRadio app, and then you just, I'm Food Made Simple, simply okay. growing, cooking, and simply understanding your food. And that's it, Kelly Emberg, the model gardener. And what I love about it is I get to learn with everybody because I have experts on my show. Uh, before I had my show, even I, even though I was growing, I would walk into the grocery store and I'd go, gosh, what, what eggs should I buy? 
And I'm like, okay, right. what is that? Cage free, free range, you know, pastured. So this show's helped me, it helped me tremendously and I'm, I'm wanting to help everyone else. Well, you saying. know, having the younger kids too, oh, yeah. has it been a challenge for them to eat the, all the vegetables and organics or do you have some tricks? Well, uh, tricks, hmm. Well, tricks you know, is like, you're eating this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> tricks is like, I'm that's your mom, trick. that's it, right? That's all that's in the house, sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, um, no, my, it's funny you ask because Cole, he's my 12 year old yeah. and he's had a little bit, I mean, he's not ADD. I, I, I don't want to label him, but he's right. had concentration problems in school. And so I went to a naturopath and I kind of took out all dairy because a lot of people are allergic to dairy oh, yeah. since the enzyme when you pasteurize milk is gone. So no dairy, no sugar, and that's in fruit juices and stuff like oh, that I too. Agree. And no gluten. Yeah. And so I took all that out of our diets and I said, I'll do it with you, honey. Cause you know, and I said the whole family's gonna do it, but it was just me you know, in the end that did it the right, right way. And I noticed a big difference. So I, I see it firsthand. I mean, I also had hyperthyroidism um, a years back and they wanted me to kill my thyroid from the inside out with a, a radioactive, Radiation. Yeah. Yeah, Radiate. a pill. And I thought, well, wait, so I can't be next to my kids for 48 hours. I have to wash the sheets, I, you know, all the clothes that I have on, I can't touch anybody. I, mean, I don't think that sounds very good. Right. So sounds I, scary. It sounds really scary. Yeah. So I did, I changed my diet and I don't have any more. Good job. Yeah. And on my show, which I love, I have a food miracle segment and I try to find people that have, you know, miracles that they, they ate a certain way and it changed their life. And it's, I think it's really inspiring because it's, it's my favorite part of the show. I think you just figured it out. It's right. like, the kids are gonna do what you do if you're a good example for them, right? And they understand it too. Yeah. It's about education. Absolutely. You know, so. And it goes the other way too, by the way. Yeah. If you're doing something maybe not so good, maybe the kid will emulate that. That's true. So, so you I gotta watch that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch it, right? <laughs> we all have to watch their response. No. Right on, that's great. Well, thanks so much for having us here. Well, thanks uh, for having me. You know, it's like uh, living the lifestyle. This is the yeah. dream, you're living the dream. And I think anyone could have whatever they want, they just have to go for it, and that's another thing. I think they have Absolutely. to believe and just do it. Now what is it that you just always say on your show? There's a statement you were telling me you always say on um, your show. Thanks for caring about you. Thanks for caring about you, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Whatever you ingest is who you're gonna be. Absolutely. You know, and people forget that part, you know? That's your health, sure that's do. your everything. Well, think about it, the best way to help someone else is to have a great you. Yeah, exactly. You have to care about yourself. Yeah. And you're helping people. I appreciate that so much. And thanks so much for having us. Oh, thanks. Thanks. And thank you so much for being here with us. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy. Stick around. We have more with Kelly in the Health Fitty Life Kitchen. Leave a love, changing lives, creating opportunities, making the world a better place. Leave a love, coming soon at leavealove.com. Enjoy, to receive pleasure or satisfaction, to feel or perceive with pleasure, to be delighted with, to enjoy great hair seven days a week. So, what is your definition?
To enjoy great hair, visit enjoyhaircare.com. Go to our product recommender to answer six simple questions and let us select the best products for your hair type. Use the salon locator to find Enjoy Hair Care near you. And just remember to enjoy. We're back in the kitchen with Kelly Emberg. Supermodel, supermom, and model gardener, Kelly Ember came to the Healthy Life Kitchen to share with us her healthy eating ways, teaching us that real beauty starts on the inside with what you eat, and she puts a whole new meaning to organic. Join us as we prepare an amazing breakfast delight featuring eggs from Kelly's own chickens and only the freshest greens from her expertly tended garden. Well, hello everybody. Today we're here in my kitchen in my home. And guess who we have here? The lovely, talented, gorgeous, and amazing I'm Kelly Emberg. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah. And you know what? You're smiling. I love your teeth. Oh, thank amazing. you. Thank you. Know? you. Looking good. The blue. Everything's working. So I'm excited about today. Oh, so am I. And you know what? I mean, the fact that you have the organic garden, you have mm -hmm. your show, you have all the things you're doing. You've been into the beauty business a long time. Yeah, I guess so. And you know, and like I say, you're keeping it going and you're doing the things that you love and you enjoy it as even as just as a hobby, right? No, I love it. And I just planted one seed and that was it. I just started growing yeah. and then I realized where the food came from. And I, I understand that cheap food isn't good food that the cheaper, you really should look at it and see why it's cheap. First thing you have to do, wash it with water that's warmer than the egg. So, you know, I do lukewarm. And you wash that first, and that's all you do. You do that, then you dip it in the vinegar, right? Okay, yeah. And that just cleans all the rest of the germs out. You don't want to- Kills leave. all that surface germs, bacteria, yeah. whatever it might be. And then you wipe it off. So that, then we've got one egg and we have one more, we have three more to go. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so before I cut, Cut my lime. I'm gonna just take the zest. Now, okay. have you ever zested anything? Yes, I I'm have. sure you have. Right. It's very simple. Yeah. Right? And you just get a little zester like this. Yeah. And I'm going to now take the zested lime and I'm gonna get the juice. Oh, oh yep. Okay, yep. Okay, you wanna show how I did that? That's so. pretty cool. I put it down this way. Yeah, I like it. Because Some then people all put the it juice, in the other way. Yeah. And it gets in your eyes. Yeah, that, I like that. <laughs> Look at this technique, everybody. So she flips okay. it upside down and then just It's not a very pretty line because I zested it, but yeah, you put but so it here. It's gonna, you've got it all ready to go. And then you squeeze it. I put sea salt, and this is the pink salt. Okay. And I'm splashing this everywhere, but see how it's emulsifying really quick? Yeah, let's show the camera. It's uh, pretty good. It but this is good. gonna now, the way it's gonna coat, the arugula. Yeah, coat the arugula, right, it, it absolutely. It will feel thicker and it'll feel like it's something more than what it Give just it a little is. Texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gives it a little texture. So we're yeah. gonna. And that's gonna your uh, that. lime and your. Yes. Basically salt and a little bit of olive oil. And a little bit of the zest in here too. We'll All just right. use that. Good. We're gonna use a little bit at the very end. This is awesome. so simple. It is, and it and smells it, so good. Oh, it's so fresh. Stick around. We have more with Kelly in the Health Bitty Life Kitchen. I use clay from Enjoy Professional Hair Care for Men. Uh, I love the ability to be able to manipulate my hair all day. I love disheveled looks. I love something that looks like, hey, that guy spent a little bit of time, but at the same time is kind of saying it's almost natural what's going on there. You know, like, hey, he also looks like he just maybe woke up and, oh. I use clay by Enjoy Professional Hair Care for Men. Leave a love, changing lives, creating opportunities, making the world a better place. Leave a love, coming soon at leavealove.com.
anything that I can go fast in, I love it. So with that said, uh, I use a lot of the Enjoy Men's line mainly because it allows me to run my hand through my hair and fix my hair all day long whenever it gets screwed up and I don't walk around with a bunch of hair product on my hands. I'm Josh Stinson and I use Enjoy Professional Hair Care for Men. We're back in the kitchen with Kelly Emberg. So the next step is actually just making our eggs. Look how pretty. Oh, look at you. That one, and these are, look how. You're doing good, Kelly. See, Perfect. it's all about timing. So now you come over here, and I put two eggs on each. Wonderful. Okay. Two eggs on each, you ready to go. Ooh, look, then, it looks good too. And then you take your avocado, and excuse my hand. Sure. And you place. Okay, don't put any avocado on mine. Because yeah. unfortunately, although I love avocado, I am a little bit allergic to it. Okay, so that's why we have salsa for you. That's, that's perfect. That's right. And then I put a little extra drizzle of that Ooh. on there. This is pico de gallo I made before I got here from my mm -hmm. tomatoes now, from my garden. There? My so, tomatoes. Organic, homegrown tomatoes. Homegrown, onions, delicious. Cilantro, onions, cilantro. My right? onions, too. These are red. You can use white, yellow, whatever. Mm. And cilantro. And you can put spicy pepper. So let's try it. We need a fork and a knife. Oh, okay, well, sorry. Well, a little you zest. know what, actually? We'll be right back to try it. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and take some pictures of this beautiful Perfect. stuff for the magazine, and then we'll oh, be right wow. back and we'll get to try gonna make it Kelly prettier. Emberg's, and what are we calling this? <laughs> um, egg, avocado, breakfast, salad. Brunch, salad. And it could be a lunch. Let's call it a brunch. Let's we'll be lunch. right back. Right back. Well, Kelly, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we hate to Thank wreck you. it. It looks so pretty, huh? Yeah, and it tastes really good too. Oh, yeah. And it's very healthy and very good for you. Yeah, and it's all fresh, organic, all fresh done organic, right, yeah. garden fresh, everything with your hands, prepared by your hands. Some it's of it probably going to make it taste better. Yeah, absolutely, it will. And I hope you like it and eat well, let's it, try it all the time. Yes. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm going to do that. And then we got the egg. And, and see, we, it's nice and oh, warm yeah, too because I was like, you know, Hurry making up. sure. Yeah, well, I, it's melted the arugula a little bit. Yeah, arugula, oh, so, which is good. And, which is and awesome. so, okay, the yolk. Kind of blends in with the dressing. How is it? Is it delicious yet? Oh my gosh. Mm. This is delicious. Of course it is. And, and where can they catch you? iHeartRadio. It's on your phone. It's a free app. You download it. And it's whenever you want it. You can just get whenever. it. Whenever. Evergreen format. It's there. All my shows archive themselves. So you can listen to the gluten, the water. You know, to, I just did slow something on slow food. So it's all about everything. Simply growing, simply cooking, and simply understanding your food. And simply delicious. And today. simply delicious. Love it. Okay. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here with us. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy. Next up, Dr. Shafu and Neograph. Leave a love. Changing lives. Creating opportunities. Making the world a better place. Leave a Love, coming soon at leavealove.com. Beautiful hair starts with beautiful color. At Enjoy Professional Hair Care, we know what it takes to maintain beautiful and vibrant hair color. With our gentle, sulfate-free, pH-balanced formulas, with Color Keeper technology, we take the guesswork out of maintaining beautiful color. Most products don't address the main cause of fading hair color, which is a high pH. When pH levels are too high, the cuticle of the hair shaft is forced wide open, allowing the color molecules to simply wash away down the drain with your time and money. Enjoy professional line of shampoos and conditioners are pH balanced and stable, locking in the color molecules, keeping your hair looking sexy, shiny, and beautiful. So the next time you're thinking about your hair color, just remember to enjoy. I use pomade in my hair and I really enjoy it because it keeps my hair kind of free flowing, not hard, not crusty like some other products. I really like this product because I can go from the beach or outdoors anywhere where I'm active. Just layer a little more product inside my hair, work it around, comb it through, and then I'm ready for the office, ready to get back to work. I use Palmade. I enjoy professional hair care for men. Welcome back. We're in the offices of Dr. Richard Shafu. Thinning hair can undermine the self-esteem of even the most confident person. 
There are many so-called solutions offered by many different doctors and hair restoration experts. But according to our friend, Dr. Richard Shafu, a triple board certified plastic surgeon, hair surgery is one of the most critical aesthetic procedures one can have done. Neograft is the latest technique offered for a safe, advanced, minimally invasive alternative to traditional hair transplant procedures. And it sounded so good, I volunteered to have the procedure done on me to see just how well this new method works. Well, hello everybody. Today we're here with Dr. Shafo again. Thanks good for to see me. you, Patrick. Thanks for and coming. And we're gonna do something on me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, last time we came in here, we did an amazing job we did. We repaired a breast augmentation, turned out beautifully. You're one of the best surgeons in town, as we Thank know, you. or if not in the world. Triple board certified, taught us a lot. Now you're gonna teach us a lot about hair transplantation. Right, you know, the, the big thing about hair transplantation, Patrick, is it's a really exciting field because if you think about when a patient chooses to have an aesthetic procedure done, hair surgery is one of the most critical procedures for a patient because it's permanent. It's something you can't cover or hide. And so how you design a hairline, the team that you have that work with you, the kind of uh, devices that you use is critical in achieve, achieving an aesthetic result. We've all seen, you know, like we've all seen bad plastic surgery. Oh, yeah. We've all seen bad hair oh, surgery. The hair play, it looks like it and all. it screams. You know, exactly. I tell patients, you know, great plastic surgery whispers, bad plastic surgery screams. Nothing is more true for certainly in hair surgery. Now, I have had this procedure done before, but it was a different type of procedure. Correct. And they did a great job. I think your hairline was very aesthetically placed. I think that that was a good decision. Uh, the 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 issue, of course, we talked talk about a little earlier on is um, how do you how do you harvest the grafts that you need yes. and, and where do you place those? So the first part of that people don't think about so much, but it's it's as critical how you harvest the hair as how you plant the hair. And the older techniques, unfortunately, are still in many of the uh, kind of outdated clinics, are the use of a strip technique. And that's what happened to me. Yes. And I'm literally still numb. Yes. In that spot. And you said that's never coming back. That's permanent, yeah, unfortunately. That, I think I did it like 10 years ago or something. Right. Yeah. The thing about our practice that's unique is we have uh, the top people that do this procedure uh, that are trained by the actual company that developed the device. Okay. So these, the, the hair team that we have are actually certified by the company. They have to have special hands-on training. These ladies have been invo involved in literally thousands of cases well, for new So you're in great hands great. for sure. So I guess we get started by just trimming the back area yep. and blending it in. Because, you know, you're good, right? <laughs> so good. So there we go. Okay. Well, thanks so much. We'll be, be back, back. I'm sure. Be back in a moment. To monitor this process, yes, make definitely. it beautiful. Okay. More beautiful than I already am, right? That might be hard. If we're I 10, go to 11. It's a hard thing. You know, to do. 11 doesn't exist. But you know, I'm, <laughs> sure I'm going for it, right? All right, you're going yeah, for you're it. You're the man. We're the man. Thanks. Okay. Sure. Technically, a form of follicular unit extraction, or FUE, Neograft takes hair grafts from the back of the head, where hair is genetically programmed not to fall out, so they can be placed in the thinning or balding areas. Compared to other techniques, the Neograft procedure maximizes the use and preservation of the finite amount of donor hair available. The procedure does take some time, but Dr. Shafu's office is well prepared with Netflix and other entertainment for your viewing pleasure. The recovery time is also shorter and the procedure doesn't leave a visible scar. Well, we're back. It's the next day. Um, that's like not that far along. It's only been a few hours, really. Exactly. So what we'll do now is we'll just go ahead and take off the uh, the band dressing here. It's just a little pressure dressing, really kind of for that for the uh, for the donor site on the back in case you get a little bit of drainage overnight. Uh, some people do, uh, some people do not. You can actually see that the the sites where the grafts were taken with the neograft very, very small openings uh, where the individual follicular units are, are extracted, uh, but there are a large number of spaces where your normal scalp and the normal follicular units were left intact. And, and the reason we do that is obviously we're sparing a large area of the donor region. The little holes that were made that are literally under a millimeter, they'll just actually collapse down and the surrounding follicular units will, will collapse in and so we won't see any scars. So in the frontal area here, this is where the uh, grafts have been transplanted into the frontal, a few in the crown area as well. And you can see some small little crusts that have occurred uh, at the base of the, uh, where we place the follicular units between that and the scalp. And so you can see these small little crust areas. Those will be gone within about a week. When that grows, basically, you'll notice that the hairs will 
uh, initially Wayne began to grow for a few weeks mm -hmm. and then that small little hair that was with the flicker typically would just fall yeah. out and it would be don't worry yeah, don't yeah. worry because that's, that's what people process. freak out right exactly that's yeah. kind of what we call shock loss yes. or telogen effluvium is a medical yeah, term yeah, for absolutely. that when will they come back next I'm going to see in about a week we'll about see week. how things look in a week in about a week most of those little crusts will have flaked off but we'll have to examine both the donor area and the recipient areas at that point sounds great I'm excited okay. well thanks so much yeah my pleasure thanks again that's good well, we're back here with my favorite board certified, triple board certified cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Shafu, and I'm doing good, right? When I tell people that I had grafts done, they're like, you did not. Exactly. And how long ago? I go, what, a month ago. They're like, are you kidding me? And they go, let me see the back. They're like, there's nothing. I go, yeah, there's nothing, absolutely nothing. Like nothing ever happened. I know. As opposed to, you know. The strip technique. Horrible. Yeah, it's no comparison between the two. And in fact, you know, the thing that's amazing about this technology, Patrick, is that really at about a week, as we saw in the earlier yeah, uh -huh. segment, the hair is already growing into the, it the, is. You know, the donor know. site, so it's hard to even know that anything was done even at a week. It, it's crazy. Yeah. Basically, what we're looking at right now is, is this hairline here. You can see where the transplants have been done in, in a nice, irregular manner. Yes. They look very natural, but all the crusts are going away. But again, what, we are, what we've done is just to to recreate a very natural and unoperated on looking hairline. So when the hairs grow back into the scalp, they'll be growing in a very natural direction and uh, he'll just have more density in that area. And then up in the whirl in here, there's no, in the crown area. Again, we can just uh, notice the, uh, the small little areas where the grafting is being done. We can actually feel the little stubbles of the, yeah, the hair follicles there. Uh, but again, nicely packed very tightly and densely into that area. The process is going according to plan. I'm, I'm very comfortable with it and uh, you know, I just can't wait to see the final results. And you say, once again, that's gonna be fully about a year. Yeah, about a year, year, okay. maybe four months, exactly. Exciting. Yeah, me too. So I'll see you in about three months, huh? Four or two, Patrick. Yeah, and there we go. And we'll see you soon. If you like what you see on Health Beauty Life, there's no need to wait till next week's show because there's a lot more to experience and it's all just a click away at healthbeautylife.com. Stop by and experience our extended play and behind the scenes interviews, travel, cooking, fitness, beauty, fashion, and lifestyles, as well as any shows that you've missed. Of course, you can connect and share through Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube, and be sure to become a Health Beauty Life VIP. You'll be eligible to win valuable prizes, receive newsletters, special offers, and updates. Travel with us to share our unique visits to everybody's favorite cities and towns and learn to prepare delicious healthy meals in your kitchen with our step-by-step -step recipes. Discover the beauty and fashion tips of today's best and brightest with how-to videos that make it easy to get the hottest new looks. Get fit and stay healthy with leading fitness, nutrition, and wellness experts. HealthBeautyLife.com connects our world with your world at HealthBeautyLife.com. Okay, welcome back. Thanks to all of our guests on this week's show. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. Sure. Because right. I have to emulsify. Oh, it's in there, not there. Okay. I bought it. I have it already for you. It's perfect. Okay, I, I pay it's attention. So together, I have a man that I actually pays attention, attention, just so you know. Okay, this is really easy. So I'm going to take my line that oh, I just... Oh, you got for that? Got a coffee at Starbucks or what? <laughs> okay, here you go.